Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Work is continuing on this Gottlieb water world and I'm just one by one going through all the things that are wrong with it. Um, where I'm at right now is I'm working on some of the optos. Some of the switches are not registering. So there is this um, wave ramp where the ball goes up and it loops around, kind of like the ramp on Who Done It, um, where the ball goes up and flips up um, above it. Um, there's two optos, and I thought I had to possibly take, take apart the upper play field to get to them, but I don't. And I'm kind of impressed with, uh, this is at least one area where Gottlieb's really good in the design. If you look at the, the underside of this play field, it's fairly, it looks pretty complicated, but there's still space to get in here and work on stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's nicely done. My, my, I really think it's pretty cool. Of course, you know, Gottlieb's been around the longest of, all, of, of you know, pretty much made more games than anybody else, I believe. Um, and so they know better. So this right here is where the optos go, and there are these bars here. And there's a transmitter and a receiver. And uh, it'll say on the little circuit board here, TX or RX, whether it's the transmitter or the receiver. So you can put it into switch test mode, and you can... Um, you can break it. You can break your contact with your hand. So I look over there. Let me show you. And it shows the last switch. It says right kicking rubber. Now I'm going to uh, break the beam with my hand. So it says lower wave opto. Now this wasn't working before. I took it out and I cleaned it, and now it seems to be registering. So I think there was just a whole bunch of dirt on uh, the, either the transmitter and or the receiver LED. So sometimes they just need to be cleaned. Sometimes it's possibly, you know, a bad uh, solder joint. But in this case, it was just dirty. So there's two of them. There's an upper and a lower. This is one of them. The other one was not working. And I'll tell you how I managed to show that it wasn't working. Um, one of the things you can do is you can use a cell phone in camera mode, right? And let's take a look. And in camera mode, you can see see the light, see the light there blinking on, on the phone. See, it's light. It's let me get it right up there. See that light? Am I blocking it? See, you can see the light shining right there. It's pretty bright. If you turn the lights down, uh, you can see it too. You know, sometimes those infrareds are just a faint glow to them. And so you can use your phone to check to see if the transmitter is working. And I checked and one of the transmitters wasn't working. So you can get a new uh, transmitter LED. You don't have to buy the whole board thing. Uh, they're like $1.75 or, or less online. It's a little infrared LED, standard 3-volt uh, LED. And uh, just desolder it, solder it back in. Now, I'll tell you one interesting thing about these. Um, the polarity is not indicated, the plus and minus, and diodes have to be hooked up the right way or they will not work. So pay close attention if you decide to, to switch out the um, transmitter, which is positive and negative, because if you put it in wrong, it's not going to light. Um, one way you can do it if it's not marked is you can look at the LED. There's this, you can look at the old LED, and there's a certain kind of, if you could look through the housing, you can see there's a smaller part and a bigger part that connects to the wire. And if you orient the new one in the same direction. But usually there's plus or minus, but there what there's nothing marked on the circuit board. So that's kind of um, interesting. Um, but I hooked it back up and it worked. Now, if the transmitter is working, how do you test the receiver? Well, you just use a flashlight. Just use a flashlight and uh, shine it on the receiver and go back and forth, and it should trigger the light. So that's one way you can test these uh, optos. And in this case, this transmitter was uh, burned out and uh, one of them was dirty. So uh, that's two less things that I'll have uh, fixed on this game as we progress. And so I'm just going to kind of slug through it and um, see where we get. So for more, visit pinballhelp.com. I really appreciate you guys. If you, if you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, go to pinballhelp.com. There's a little donate button. Um, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.